do narcissists treat the new supply better there are a lot of videos on narcissism and lots of people are seeing this so they have to form a character that is going to be accepted by the new supply they have to blend in they have to look like they're normal they have to create a disguise they have to give themselves a different appearance in order to conceal their identity narcissists study people and then they say whatever they think people expect or want to hear they make it seem like you have something in common as though you're in ingredients on something which catches you off guard it leaves you unprepared for a surprise or difficulty because when they first target a person they don't do anything to disturb or upset them but once they've got in they learn what motivates and inspires you they learn what excites you and they learn what irritates you they learn what makes you happy and they learn what makes you sad and then they reflect this back to you they start talking about things as though they actually know what they're talking about as though it's something that they have experienced before they will listen to things that you've already told them and then they will refer to it later to build a false mutual understanding they may even try to convince you that they were a victim of a narcissist they may tell you that someone took advantage of them someone abused them and no one was really there for them they play the victim so that you feel bad for them so that you want to help them this is how they make it look like they have a connection with their new supply by building a false report by doing things that they think will help them which may appear from the outside as though they're treating them better but that's just what they have to do to secure them they have to act like they're this naive humanitarian they have to be very considerate of their new supply because then they're less likely to be rejected because you're not going to push away someone who is trying to help you you're going to be more engaged you're going to be more involved but if that doesn't work they will also play the victim role they will be the damsel in distress because they already know when they're dealing with an empath they know it will make the empath want to help it will make them want to care for and protect the narcissist because they're acting like they're this hurt little child when in reality they're going out of their way to cause chaos and destruction 
Their objective is to hurt people. They're deliberately trying to cause disruption in people's lives. Narcissists aren't always looking for money. They're not always looking for people that they're physically attracted to. Sometimes they go after people just because they can't stand them. Especially if you're the type of person that is always happy and filled with optimism and hope. They are watching you. They are monitoring you. And they're wondering why you're always happy. They're wondering how you're so successful until their envy of you begins to have a strong emotional effect on them. They become envious of people and then they want to be around them just so they can have an opportunity to destroy them. Sometimes that is the only reason why they targeted the new supply. It may seem like the narcissist is treating their new supply better, but they're just trying to keep their new supply under their control, where they are able to use them and then destroy them. They're not there to do anything good for the new supply. They're just there to cause chaos and destruction just as they did with you. It's only a matter of time. They are very envious. They couldn't stand you. Which is why they tried to destroy everything good about you. The narcissist will target you just to destroy you, just to bring you down. They see it as an achievement. They see it as something impressive if they can do that to you or if they can do it to their new supply. But they will pretend to be normal. They will try to blend into society by acting like they want marriage, by acting like they want children, by acting like they want a family, and they want to build you up and make you a better person and give you a better life. Sometimes they will even marry their new supply and have children with them. They're very good at convincing people that they want to make things work. They will beg and cry. They will do whatever it takes just to gain access to your life. But they will never live up to any of the things they said they were going to do. They will never fulfill any of the expectations that they had given to you. They sell people a dream. They lie. They future fake. And they have no intention of following up their promises with action. It's just something they use to keep you engaged. So that they can get what they want from you in the present. Which is why narcissists are now beginning to pose as victims of narcissistic abuse. Because the awareness of narcissism has risen sufficiently over the last few years to where they need to conceal themselves. They need to hide. And they do that by posing as victims. By learning the terminology 
by learning the terms and expressions, by watching these videos. Which is why we see so many of these so-called victims making claims and revealing their opinions. They're appearing suddenly because they see an opportunity to get something for themselves. They're using it to gain access to your life. They want to be around you. But they're just there. They're not really trying to help you. Pay attention to those who don't clap when you're winning. They're in the audience, but they're not rooting for you. They're not supporting you. They're not clapping. They're not cheering you on. They're not encouraging you. They're not giving you due respect or recognition because they're very envious and jealous of you. They can't admit your success because they don't have your best interest at heart. They don't want you to win. They're against you. They resent your success because they are not your friends. They're your enemies and they're only there to support your weaknesses to see you fall so that they can come in and finish you off which is why they're just waiting around without putting in any effort because they never learned how to build a healthy relationship they never learned how to contribute to another person's life that doesn't do anything for them they were raised to be narcissists but they try to act like they're normal. They will tell their new supply that they believe people should be fair and honest and they should behave in a way that makes their intentions and beliefs clear. They will tell people whatever they think they want to hear but their disorder tells them not to do that because if they were to do that they would be putting themselves at risk of disappointment at risk of the non-fulfillment of their hopes or expectations at risk of failure things that they never learned how to deal with if they don't know how to deal with something their disorder kicks in. It begins to have an effect whenever they experience stress. Whenever they experience something that has a strong emotional effect on them, their disorder is designed to protect them from anything that they're sensitive to, anything that they cannot cope with. Because when they were children, they didn't have the reassurance. They didn't have anyone there to remove their doubts or fears. They didn't have any stability. Their childhood lacked foundation and structure. And the older they get, the worse they become. until they display a complete lack of feeling and consideration until they lack sensation and sensitivity for other people they only feel for themselves because they could never deal with their pain and disappointment they couldn't return quickly to a normal condition after certain difficult situations or events they couldn't accept failure or loss Which is why the narcissist can't just move on and be happy with their new supply. 
because they're still holding on to the past. They're always thinking about their exes. Which makes it impossible for them to be happy with someone new. They can't move on. And even if the new supply is everything prepared and organised, and everything is perfectly arranged for the narcissist in the way that they like or prefer, that's not going to make the narcissist better. That's just going to make them even more anxious. Can't deal with functional situations where everything is perfect, where everything is going right, because they expect things to go wrong. They need things to go wrong. That's the only way that they can feel comfortable. If everything seems right, the narcissist will become very paranoid and suspicious. They will show a cautious distrust of their new supply. It will cause them to have the idea or impression that their new supply is questionable, dishonest or dangerous and the narcissist will become restless. They will be unable to rest or relax as a result of anxiety or boredom. They will require constant activity. They will intentionally cause an argument so that they can have the advantage. Because when things are normal, they don't know how things are going to go. It puts them at a disadvantage. It makes them feel uncomfortable. So even if things seem to be going well with a new supply, they have to create disturbance, confusion or uncertainty. They have to start an argument so that they can experience something similar to what they've experienced in past relationships or in their childhood so that they can feel more comfortable because it's all they've ever known it's what they used to it's what they're familiar with but before they fully secure their new supply it will seem like they're treating them better. They will tell them whatever they want to hear. Because they have to deceive them. So they may tell the new supply that they love them. They may get married and have children with them. While they're already lining up their next source of supply. Well, they've already got someone else waiting in the wings. The narcissist is never exclusive to anyone. They've always got someone else on the side. But they will pretend like they've got their new supplies best interest in mind. They love just playing the game. They love stringing people along. It makes them feel better about themselves. But now there's more information available on this. So people are becoming more aware of it. Which makes it more difficult for the narcissist to manipulate their targets. Which is why the narcissist's interactions with other people may not last as long now. Because people pick up on it quickly. They're more able to identify the signs. And then they can remove themselves before they get too involved in it. But narcissists aren't looking for relationships anyway. They're just looking for random people to entangle with because they can't deal with accountability. Which is why when they're done with you, they have to adapt to their next situation. They have to play the game in a different way.
but they're not really treating their new supply better. It's just an illusion. It's designed to trick their new supply. And it's also intended to hurt you. It's intended to punish you for everything you saw wrong with them. They will adjust themselves to maintain their supply, but it is getting more difficult for them because now people are becoming more aware of the disorder. So now they have to refrain from certain behaviors while everyone is watching them. They have to go along with the rules so that they can be accepted. They have to pretend to be kind because they know the difference between right and wrong. So they have to act like they want to share. They have to show people they're being fair and honest, but they're only doing that so that they can be in control, so that they can maintain their supply. They do everything in their power to convince people that nothing is wrong with them because they already know exactly what they're doing. They know the difference between right and wrong, which is how they know how to act right when something is in it for them. The narcissist could have been the person that you always wanted them to be. By surrendering control to you, by not resisting and instead submitting to you. But narcissists don't deal well with people having control over them. They have to be the ones who are in control. Which is why they're not fit to be in relationships. They're not fit to get married or have children. But they will play the game. And they will get you to trust them. Until you doubt everything you've learned about them. Until you believe in their lies and illusions. And then they can feel like they're in control. They can feel like they're superior. Because that's all they really want. They don't really want a relationship. That's just a disguise. So they can act like they're normal. So they will make adjustments. So that they can position themselves to be in control. But they're just playing a game. They know you're expecting them to be a certain way. And to act a certain way with their new supply. So they choose to give you something completely different. Until you stop believing that they're a narcissist. And then they can sit back and feel like they're something magnificent. Because they managed to turn a situation that was against them and get everyone under their influence and control. And then they really start to believe that they are superior. They really start to believe that people are beneath them. But although it may seem like they're treating their new supply better, It is an act. It is an illusion. It's designed to trick their new supply. And it's also intended to hurt you. They're participating in it for power and control rather than for a genuine connection. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries 
you can email me at coaching.narcsofio.co.uk. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.